Happy New Year, everybody. It's January 1st, 2024. You may be waking up hungover. You may be waking up sober. But either way, I'm glad that you're here listening to Keeping It Juicy. And let's start the show. So my name is Caitlin O'Neill. Some call me Miss Chester. Some call me Juicy Juicy. I was called Kit Kat when I was younger. My dad still calls me Kate. Um, but I'm super excited to be launching this podcast called Keeping It Juicy. The name of the podcast came from the word juicy, which I say we all are juicy. We're not fat. We're not chubby. We're just juicy and beautiful because no matter what size you are, you are beautiful and you are juicy. And I really want to make sure that this podcast, I'm keeping it juicy. I'm keeping it real. Um, everything is raw. Everything will be truthful, honest. You can trust what I'm saying as well as my guests. So I'm super excited to get it started. And... This episode is brought to you by Mom's Little Helpers, located in Morris County, and they service Morris, Sussex, and Warren County. They provide deep cleaning, maintenance cleaning, and anything specific that you might request. They actually clean our office, Miss Chester's, located in Chester, New Jersey. You should follow them on Instagram at Mom's Little Helpers NJ. They're the best, woman owned, and please support them because I said so. Awesome. So I'm going to jump right in. So I'm starting this podcast because I really want people to feel like they have somewhere to go where people are being super honest and super truthful and they can relate to. I've been through a lot in my lifetime and so I really want to share that all with you and I'm picking guests who want to share their hardships, um, anything that they've learned in their lives with you. So I'm being really thoughtful about that. And I'm a breast cancer survivor. I own my own company. I've worked in corporate. I own a house. I have dogs. There's just a lot that I have to share. And I'm super excited to be doing that with you today on January 1st. I can't believe it's 2024. feels like it was just 1999. Um, so let's get right into it. So Keeping It Juicy is a podcast that started by me, obviously. People call me Miss Chester because I I have an Instagram account at ms.chester underscore nj where I have started a persona slash micro influencer account. Um, I know influencing is a big thing now and there are many people out there who are doing influencing but I am finding that there is a lot of influencing going on that might not necessarily be totally truthful so I really want to make sure that this podcast is all about telling the truth, being real and sharing things that I've gone through. Um, I started Miss Chester uh, five and a half years ago when my partner and I moved to Chester, New Jersey. I didn't know Chester existed until five and a half years ago. I grew up in Branchburg, went to Somerville High School, went to Rutgers for my undergrad and the College of St. Elizabeth for my um, master's degree in nutrition. So I am a registered dietitian by training. Sorry, Dad, for spending all that money. Nowadays, I sometimes take pictures of grass, and that's just what happens when you take the path of where you're supposed to be. Um, so I started Miss Chester. We lived in Morristown for five years. We came out here. I started the account because I've always had an outlet of a, of a source. So if I was blogging or if I had an Instagram, I once was posting about my lunch blocks, which we don't need to go into that. Um, and so I started Miss Chester so that we would document where we're eating, what we're trying, everything like that. And in the last probably two to three years, it's really grown. And I first started out by teaching people how to run Instagram for their businesses to try to start my own business. Um, and then I actually got a business coach to help me narrow down my offers so that I could really help people with their Instagram as Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all social media is growing. So in 2020, I founded MC Marketing and Content, MC standing for Miss Chester, of course. So right now we have 20 clients. We create content and manage social media for businesses, and we're growing our offerings as well, doing email marketing, blogging, and Google ads, everything in between. So Miss Chester started five and a half years ago. My studio is called Miss Chester's. Um, this happened in August of 2023. 
And this space is really multifunctional. People always ask me what Miss Chester's is. So it's a space to bring people together is what I usually say. It is a space for my team to come together so we can have meetings. It's a lounge space, like this couch was super important for me to get. And it's a space where people can hold classes. There was a charcuterie class here. We did a fundraiser here. There was a pop-up here. There's so many different options that you can use it for. Um, you can go to Miss Chester NJ com to learn more about that and so I really wanted this space to have for really the community to come together to have podcasts of course um, I've been thinking about having a podcast for a long time and recently someone said again why don't you have a podcast and so I was triggered to have a podcast and I do don't do anything half fast so I was going full on with it and I'm super excited to be launching keeping it juicy um, like I stated before, I am a registered dietitian by training. I have my master's in nutrition and I worked in long-term care for many years and I got into operations very quickly. I helped grow a team from 20 to 200 in five years. Then I worked for another company as VP of operations. And in that time period, I found that I didn't love what was going on in the corporate workplace. And I actually stepped down from my big girl job and went back to one of my jobs as an RD that I did when I first came out of school so I can do it like very easily with my eyes closed. And I went full force with MC Marketing and Content. And after three months, I went full time with MC Marketing and Content in September of 2023. So I just passed one year of being full time and it is super scary, but worth it. Um, and if anyone has questions on that, of course, you can ask me. And I recently said that I had uh, cancer. So I'm a cancer survivor. At the age of 28, I was diagnosed with stage 3 HER2 positive breast cancer. I have the BRCA gene, which gives you an 80 to 85% chance of being diagnosed with cancer. So um, my mom had cancer. She had the BRCA gene. And I tested for the BRCA gene when she was sick. I was negative. Then years later, I tested positive for the BRCA gene after finding my cancer myself. And my dad actually also has the BRCA gene. They have different strands, so I inherited his strand. So I was treated at Memorial Sloan Kettering. I had chemotherapy. I had a double mastectomy. I actually don't have nipples, which is where the title comes from for this podcast uh, episode, which is, so I don't have nipples. Um, because everyone thinks everyone has nipples, but we all don't. So that's something important to talk about. Like I'm not wearing a bra right now and you can't see cause I, you just, it's like nothing's there. Um, and I learned a lot from, you know, going through chemotherapy at a young age of 28. Um, my boyfriend had just moved in two months earlier. We learned a lot about each other. We shaved our heads together. I got treatment. I lost my breasts. I lost one ovary, you know, lots of surgery, lots of chemo. So that's something that I'll dive into a little bit more in a totally separate episode. Um, I know that a lot of people who do follow me are going through chemotherapy or they were just diagnosed or their family members were diagnosed. So I would love to support you in any way possible. Um, and I think the really important thing to talk about is again, why I'm starting this podcast. Influencing, like I said before, has become a very big thing. And I'm just finding that people who have a lot of followers, they eventually kind of give up who they are in order to either make money or to make somebody happy. And I think it's just super important for um, there to be an outlet for people to really be who they are and to be truthful um, and to really talk about things that aren't always necessarily easy to talk about, like going through cancer or leaving your job or I'm going to have people on who have lost all of their money, who some parents died at a young age, who have had trauma when they were young, who have infertility issues, who simply don't want kids and they feel the pressure from society. I am actually not married. I do have a ring on my finger, but I just wear it for fun sometimes. I've been with my partner, Kim. His name is Kim, K-I-M. It's a family name. He is a man. And he's my boyfriend, but I call him my partner because sometimes at 35, I feel a little bit old to be saying he's my boyfriend, um, but we will be celebrating 10 years in February and I just don't see the need to get married. And I think society thinks, why don't you want to get married? And people are always asking me when we're going to be having kids. So there's a lot of pressure and I think talking about that as well. Um, 
is going to be really important. I really just want to talk about everything that's going on in the world and how people have really gotten through their hardships because I want you to feel like you have this space, this podcast, this video, simply listening while you're working out and just know that you're not alone. And if you're going through something similar that one of my guests or possibly I have been talking about, that you will get through it. And when I was diagnosed with cancer and I was going through such a hardship, something that I kept repeating to myself was this too shall pass. It's super important to, you know, think about the future. And if you really think back of times that were really hard for you, say five, 10 years ago, and you think, you know, you thought you would never get through it and look at you today, you did get through it. Um, so yeah, so that's really, I just wanted to introduce myself on the first episode of this podcast. We are recording in Miss Chester's, which is super exciting. I live in Chester, obviously. It's, I'm four minutes away from the office, which is fantastic. And I'm going to be asking my uh, guests three questions when they come. Um, the same three questions at the end of each podcast. They'll obviously have different questions during their section of the podcast. But I want to make sure that I'm answering any questions that I'm going to be asking anyone else. So the first question is, what would your last meal be if you were on death row? Uh, Mr. Chester, which is what we call him, because calling him Kim is a little bit difficult, but people call me Miss Chester all the time, so I call him Mr. Chester. We talk about this a lot. I don't know why. It's a very odd thing to talk about a lot. But right now, my last meal would be meatloaf and mashed potatoes and maybe a Coca-Cola or something delicious and like a really rich chocolate cake. Um, and then I'm going to be asking people what their biggest fears are. So my biggest fear in life is failure. Um, I'm not afraid of death. I'm not afraid of many things at all, actually. I'm just afraid of failing. I'm afraid of failing this podcast. I'm afraid of failing my company. I'm afraid of failing the girls who work for me, my family. It's just a big thing that has always been. I just want to succeed and make everybody happy. Um, and then the third question, which I don't think we should regret anything in life, but what is something that if you really looked back that you would want to change? And the one thing that I would want to change is how I treated my mom when I was a teenager. I, you know, hormones, and I thought it was really cool and I was just a little bit too rude to her. She actually passed away a few years ago at the age of 62. Um, so, you know, I really look back and I wish I wasn't such a little brat and, you know, maybe I'll have a kid one day and karma will come back and get me. But, um, yeah, that's one thing that I do regret. And so I would just, anyone who's listening to this, uh, appreciate your mom, appreciate both of your parents, your family and friends and try not to be a brat. Um, so this is the first episode. I, it's a little bit short. The episodes will not be too long because I know attention spans are low. So I really want it to be 15 to 20 minutes in total. Um, so this one, you know, is just really an introduction. There will be four episodes dropped each month. Um, I, we haven't really chosen the drop date yet, but of course today is January 1st, 2024. So we're dropping the first one. I'll be dropping a lot of reels um, on the Instagram Keeping It Juicy podcast, so be sure to follow there. Uh, be sure to follow me on Miss Chester at ms.chester underscore nj. We have a few other accounts, but you don't need to follow all of them. But just be sure to live your life to the fullest and as always, keep it juicy. Thank you for listening to this episode of Keeping It Juicy. You can find this episode and all the rest on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple. And as always, don't forget, keep it juicy.